Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to my studio. This is Irish Donna Taro. My name is Donna Wilder Hart and we are here to do a love reading for Gemini. So welcome everyone, watchers, cross watchers, and my beautiful subscribers. Let's get started with the reading. We're going to take a look. You've seen the speed shuffle at the beginning. So look, the energy coming into this reading for you, Gemini, is you are deciding and desirous of this Taurus energy. You want stability. You want equal give and take. You want someone with whom you can have a relationship and you're manifesting someone uh, that you can have a relationship with that somebody who has your back and vice versa it's very important for you that both of you have one another's back. When we get this Taurus energy, we also have Virgo and Gemini. Here you are right in your reading. We see you waiting around for something. So the hanged man energy is Pisces energy. You're looking at things from a different perspective. I think that for many of you, you are also manifesting a lot of coin. We have this gorgeous energy here of you increasing your coin, maybe more than one stream of income. So you look stable. You look pretty content. She looks like she's having fun. Cirque du Soleil. So even though you are hanging out, you are, you look like you're waiting for something in this. You know, you're waiting. You're being very patient. But as it pertains to love, love and money often go in the same direction. When love is good, money is often good because they're both ruled by Venus, this beautiful lady here. So when we look at your energy, Gemini, we're seeing that you are really very much in a receptive mode. When we have the clarification of the Empress card with the energy of you hanging out and manifesting this relationship, you are behaving as divine feminine. So divine feminine never chases after anybody. Divine feminine hangs out, manifests, and waits for someone to show up at their door, literally at their door. So it's very important energy. Divine feminine sees no difference in ethnicity or a country that someone's from. This is very much the language of the gods. You know, Venus is a goddess. So someone could be from a different part of the world, a different ethnicity, a different culture. You want love. The moon is right up here. You know, you want that romantic starry night. So you are waiting for that. Now, you're interest the moonology is saying that you are good enough it's full moon in virgo so we have a full moon energy here that is all about taking very good care of yourself your health you know doing those things day to day that you need to do to embody this empress energy your partner is in a very interesting, rather frizzled, frazzled, wonderful, heated state of affairs. <laughs> I say frizzled and frazzled because I do not think your person is very calm right now. When we look at this energy, we're seeing somebody who passionately wants to come to see their empress. We have the lover's card, Gemini, that's your card also. Once again, somebody who could be very different from you. You are soulmates. You have great passion. Look at this swirling around you as this heat. And your person is very caught up in their emotions. They feel a little underwater here. They feel a little overwhelmed. And yet, you would never know it because they are staying very quiet, very zen. This is very Leo energy. When we look at the cards, when we put them down and we see this energy, we see that <laughs> when we see the energy between the Empress, the Seven of Wands, we see the Queen of Cups. You both are embodying this incredible energy of looking at this love relationship. When we have the Empress, you know, she's facing her lover. She's preparing for her lover. The Eight of Coins is telling me that your person 
may be learning a new trade or a new skill set at work, but they are also trying to learn about you. They're learning about themselves. We see someone here who seems a bit defensive someone who seems overly concerned with not paying attention to all of these people who are trying to get their attention. They are decidedly focused on love and on you, Gemini. The Eight of Coins is telling us that they also are starting to really learn about how they feel in the relationship and what that means for what they want with you. Moonology is basically telling your person to have faith in their dreams, and we see that energy. This person, to all outer appearances, is cool, calm, and collected, but they have a burning desire for you, and they think about you often throughout the day. The mutual energy, Gemini, is a sun card between you and your person. The sun card's the happiest card in the deck. This is Leo energy. This is Leo energy. Uh, the sun card is all about making love, making babies, being creative with life. Uh, the sun card is the children of our mind and body. So if you are in the performing arts, it's like, look at me, I'm having so much fun. What a glorious way to live. So your person's energy as they think of you, towards you, is very much that you are their happy place, you are their happy space, they want to invest in this relationship, they're, they're giving a lot of thought to this relationship, and look at this, so are you. Both of you want to invest more in the relationship. This is your energy. This is theirs. The Seven of Pentacles, I like the Seven of Pentacles. It really is about assessing something to be of high value. Your person wants a very passionate interaction with you in the near future. I'm getting the card that indicates when we get temperance card, we're really getting a very strong energy that you, the two of you are not really speaking right now. You're in your person's fantasy life because we get this energy of the Ace of Wands. You both think of that a lot. We have a, we have a, a kind of a quasi fantasy card here that could be fantasy. Don't, don't pay attention to what I'm thinking too much as well as the Hanged Man. Both of you want this energetic new beginning. Both of you want to invest in the relationship. And both of you feel as though the other person is your happy place. We have this temperance card which says that whatever the difficulties of this relationship, both of you would like to work this out. You value the relationship. You would like to invest more in this relationship. Believe in the impossible. Blue moon. Once in a blue moon. <laughs> so the two of you may be very different. I suspect you are. When we look at the energy of, you know, what is, what's happening here in terms of your outcome for this reading, we get, again, we get some, your person, what's hidden, is that they're really working on themselves. The energy is also that you are. So this is your mutual energy. These cards are your mutual energy. So the Eight of Coins is all about you know, perfecting your skills, being the best you can be. It, the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and Ten of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles are all Virgo energy. Again, taking care of day-to-day -day life. You know, this is kind of the checklist card here. But we also get that both of you are seeking answers and knowledge about each other because this page is willing to walk across a knife between two mountains with a waterfall underneath. You will go the distance to figure out what it's going to take to make this relationship work long term. This is a very slow moving energy though. So right now it feels, it may feel stagnant, but it is not stagnant. It looks as though both of you are very, very busy. A lot of coins here. You're both working on your coins. 
the energy that is coming in as the bridging energy or the excuse me the clarifying energy is that both of you want a new beginning this is Aquarius you want an enlightened happy new beginning we have the ace of wands you want a passionate new beginning you want a new beginning in which there's equal give and take you have hot passionate love deeply felt love and when we look at the obstacles and the things that have gotten in the way in the past have been rather significant so what I see for you in this bridging energy this is the energy that we will explore further in the uh, extended reading but we see a couple of cards here that are very very important for you first of all I get that the energy between the two of you moving into the future is the energy of needing to leave something that was once stable that became very burdensome in your relationship and caused you to toss down the burden that you were carrying. Both of you feel very alone right now. The clarifying energy here is that both of you have had the energy of being really heartbroken, feeling as though you had no choice, feeling as though you both had to, that each of you respectively had to go it alone, but it's very painful because this relationship was once a very stable relationship. There was a time when you thought this relationship could bring stability, marriage, fun, enjoyment. This is a card of the honeymoon. Um, and it's, it's so interesting that this was a double whammy that this has sort of taken your breath away because when you look at her, she's walking and feeling very overburdened. The ox has to carry her burdens. She has to release them. She has to travel more lightly. She has to move forward. And so what is this energy that's, that's in the way? What is it that you need to get to? And will you get there? And the energy clarifiers are the Three of Cups, the Strength card. Again, a lot of Leo energy here. Leo, Leo, Leo. So you and your person, this is the infinity symbol. When I see this symbol with the Lover's card, I always feel as though it has a, a twin flame overlay for those of you who believe in it. But I'm also getting that you both have the strength to make this relationship come in, into fruition. You have the strength to bring it about. It hasn't really manifested in the way that you'd like for it to manifest. You've manifested being lovers. You've manifested loving each other. You've manifested a beautiful connection. But you really have not created a stability. And what I'm seeing is that your portal for creating this beautiful stability to have all this abundance is your friendship, the Three of Cups, best friends. It's very nurturing energy. It, it's energy that says that, yes, we are lovers, but first we are friends. And so when we look at this energy and then we look for advice from spirit, we have Shield Maiden, make plans and focus. So we're going to go ahead and pull out a few more cards here for the extended reading and see what it is that you need to take a look at more deeply in this relationship. For those who would like to go to the extended, I thank you so much. It's a really wonderful way for you to support the channel. It's, it helps a great deal. Please be sure to enter the contest. But let's see what the energies here are for you. How do you solve the problem of the Six of Swords, Eight of Wands? Ooh, moving forward very rapidly. All right. Moving forward with each other in a very passionate way. The Eight of Wands energy is Sagittarius. That's, you know, being less concerned, less cautious, 
being willing to go for it. It's very important energy. Okay, so basically what Spirit is saying is make plans and focus. And the focus, the first focus is your pure enthusiasm and joy for being together. Okay, so that is powerful energy. The two of you are super attracted to each other. That's like making love all night long, making love all night long, making love all night long. <laughs> but you have a really strong emotional connection because of the Queen of Cups and the Empress. So let's see what else is a bridging energy here for you to go into more detail. Oh, the two of you need to take a vacation. The two of you need to have an adventure. The two of you need to have some recreational time together. You need to have time in which you're not constantly working to really have fun. Playtime, essentially. You know, going away, having an adventure in another place. You know, go to Hawaii, go surfing. But it's really time both of you are showing and manifesting as one another's ideal partner, ideal situation. So let's get another card. The Three of Swords, okay. So this could be a third party situation. At the very least, for some of you, you've just been, you've been in in a separation for about three months and this has been going on for a long time three months four months you know i'm getting six months okay it's become too long now both of you are truly hurting this is mutual energy going into the the next portion of the extended you both want a victory so all right, sending you love from Chicago. I'm going to leave it there for you, Gemini. If you'd like to follow me in the extended, that would be delightful. If not, it's always delightful and it's always a joy providing a reading for you. I want to thank everyone for subscribing, liking, sharing, adding comments, and I love the community that is growing here on this channel. So I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye, Gemini.